This is a Mexican jumping bean climbing out of his jumping bean. Actually, yeah, he's gonna try and pop out of there. He's he he will hopefully hatch, turn <laughs> into off. that moth right there. Well, guess what? <laughs> Our little dude. larva, dude. our little Mexican dude. jumping bean. We we'll call it a dude. Dead. dead. Not dude. I want to be a girl. made a principal called Mr. Dude. So it has <laughs> come out of his Mexican jumping bean. What do we call him? He's officially out. We're trying not to disturb his process. But he's. Oh, oh my geez. goodness. This is love. This is live. Um, went through uh, the metamorphosis stage, and now he's going to come out as a moth. We don't want to disturb it too much because he seemed to freeze when you took out the camera. Could be. Oh yeah, it's yeah. The mystery of the Mexican jump bean is solved. It wasn't that much of a mystery. Yeah, because the lizard is taking it What goes on inside the bean is the little larvae um, are born inside. So what happens is these moths will mate. The female moth will then grab one of these beans in, of course, Mexico in the in the rainforest, and it will lay its bean. It will lay its eggs inside the bean. It's like the larva drill that inside possible? it. Yeah, so what's going to happen is, yeah, it's going to kind of drill like right in and lay the egg inside the bean. What's going to then happen is the um, larva, the egg will hatch, a little larva will come out, and we'll start eating the inside of the bean. Now, why does it jump? Why is it Mexican jump bean? Because, because obviously it's in there moving around. And what, it, what they do try to avoid is a large amount of heat. And where they're nature, naturally um, from are uh, rainforests in Mexico, where it's very hot. So they actually jump to get off the, the tree into the cool ground. And they stay in the cool ground for their life. Now, they're going to keep eating and growing up and eating inside, all the bean inside. Eventually, they're going to mature put themselves into the pupa stage, which is the cocoon stage, which they will metamorphose, they will go through metamorphosis and become a winged creature, which then they will find a mate, they will start the process all over again. Oh, that's insane. Oh, you can actually Look see his face. Look at the detail of it. You can actually see his face. I went really close with this camera. Starting to spread out his wings. Don't come, don't make any move here. He's stretching it. Recording that. Wow. Here he is drinking some water. He's drinking? No, but let's pretend. 